OK, good morning, folks. We're going to get started here. So my name is Sonia Karnofsky, and I work with an organization called CDFI Friendly South Bend. We've been working hard with the city team and all of the great financial uh, institutions who are going to be talking a little bit later this morning. To start us off, uh, Mayor Mueller is going to say a few words. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Thank you for uh, joining us and we're still getting used to uh, some of these ways to interact virtually and looks like we have a good good crowd here 120 uh, account right now and thank you for all the financial institutions for coming to share the resources that you're able to provide our community and thank you to the small businesses and entrepreneurs for continuing the fight i know there are were uh, people who thought they had recession proof uh, businesses who this thing is uh, Prevent or providing all sorts of challenges, even for those industries uh, and uh, sectors that are more vulnerable are obviously uh, facing even tougher times. So we know that the, the federal government has stepped up and provided some resources, but we know that's not going to be enough and hopefully they'll do more uh, in the coming weeks. But we also have got to work with the state and, and local governments and then local governments don't have you know, the same types of flexibility that state and federal levels do, but we're going to see where we can fill in gaps and help any way that we can. Um, so in a little bit, you'll hear from from the, the financial institutions about uh, what, what they have to offer. We'll also, uh, the city is working with two CDFIs that you'll hear from and Sonia and uh, CDFI Friendly uh, South Bend. We had thought we were going to be working on offense this year where we could uh, start some new businesses and and uh, really get things going here in South Bend. But, uh, you know, sometimes uh, you got to start with defense and, and we'll move into offense as, as the economy uh, recovers and, and we move into the coming uh, years. But with that, we've provided a resource guide as well that you can download. I, we hope that's helpful, but please don't hesitate to reach out to uh, Sonia, myself, or anyone on the city team to, if you need help uh, finding something or you think there's something we might be able to do, or if you need us to try to advocate at the state and federal levels uh, to make sure that we're getting the, the resources we need. But I know we'll get through this and uh, hopefully emerge out on the other side even stronger. So thank you again for being here and, and I hope you find this helpful. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. I have a few housekeeping notes for everybody. Um, obviously, we are all figuring out what it means to do a virtual event like this, so we really appreciate your patience as we navigate some of the technology. First, um, I just put a message into the chat that has direct links to the resource guide and the flyer that has all of the different links we'll be using. If you move your cursor over the screen, you'll see that a bar pops up at the bottom and you can click on the chat notification there and you'll see the links that I just shared. That bar is also where you can turn your video and sound on and off. Uh, folks might have heard me say this a little bit earlier, but we'd appreciate it if you could keep yourself on mute unless you're speaking. With so many folks on the line, there can be quite a lot of background noise and make it difficult for everybody to hear. So we really appreciate your help in making sure that we can all hear uh, the presentations. So like Mayor Mueller said, uh, for the first 30 minutes of this event, we will hear an overview from different financial institutions, giving you um, a little bit of information about the different products and services that they are offering right now, specifically targeted to help small businesses overcome the particular economic challenges posed by COVID-19. After that, we have an hour this morning for breakout discussions where every financial institution will be available to answer your questions directly. Um, if you follow the link to the flyer that I put in the chat, you'll see that there are a number of different links that look similar to this one you use to log on, but they are unique to each financial institution. 
you can um, go in and out of as many chats as you would like to learn more about what the financial institutions are doing. Um, please do be aware that right at 11 o'clock, there might be a little bit of a wait before the chat opens up. Sean Delahanty from the city's um, IT team has to actually go in and open each conversation for us. So if you log on right at 11 o'clock, there might be a little bit of a delay. You don't need to do anything. It will open up for you automatically, but don't worry if there is a little bit of lag there. Uh, the last thing that I want to mention for everybody, if you look at that resource guide that I shared in the chat, there is contact information for everybody who you're going to hear from today. Please don't hesitate. Um, give any of us a call. Shoot us an email. We're very happy to answer follow up questions that you might have. And with that, I think I will turn it over to Brad McConnell from Oxion. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Sonia. Um, I'm really grateful to have the opportunity to introduce to many of you Axion serving Illinois and Indiana, which is the organization that I run. Um, I'm going to briefly describe our organization and what we'd like to do to help small business owners in South Bend. And then in the side chats, which Sonia just described, I'll talk about it in more detail for anyone who'd like that. But first, Axion serving Illinois and Indiana is a mission driven nonprofit community development financial institution whose mission is to help neighborhood entrepreneurs grow. And we do that by providing the capital and the coaching and the connections that small businesses need to create jobs and wealth in their communities. So again, we do that throughout Illinois and Indiana, but have a very specific focus on underserved communities that have typically lacked the kind of access to financial institutions that we would like them to have. Um, in this particular case, we're seeking to provide low cost capital to as many small business owners in South Bend as we can. And so the way that we will do that is providing a loan offering that is a 3% fixed rate for five years, up to $50,000. And we'll do that with uh, no payment at all for the first six months, and then a fully amortized payment after that in month seven through 60. And we'll be sizing that loan based on your average monthly revenues, from before the crisis. So we're going to look at your business bank statements from October, November, and December, and uh, therefore calculate the average revenues that you would have had in 2019. That'll be the max amount you can borrow up to $50,000. And then we'll do the very best we can to process that, work with you to get all the rest of the details right, so we can provide that funding as fast as possible. So that's going to be one of the many options you're going to hear about here shortly. And so we're thankful again for the opportunity and look forward to working with as many of you as I can. Thanks very much, Brad. And next we'll hear from the folks at Bankable. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> My name is Kyle Fawcett. I'm the Director of Marketing um, at Bankable, which is um, a community development financial institution or CDFI um, serving the state of Indiana. Um, our office is located just north of Indianapolis in the city of Anderson. Um, we're also uh, an SBA micro lender uh, and community advantage lender. So. Um, yeah, we, we are very grateful to be um, included in this initiative as well, um, alongside the other financial institutions and particularly the other CDFIs. Um, really grateful uh, for the work that the city of South Bend uh, is doing. So for all of the small businesses, um, obviously going through a really difficult time right now, um, just know that you know, your, your uh, local government and the city is working really hard to come up with options um, better, than I, been a, better than I've seen a lot of other places so far. So. Um, take hope that they're working really hard to serve you. So um, again, we're really grateful to be participating. Um, we'll go into a lot more detail uh, in the breakout breakout session, uh, but two of the key products we'll be offering during this time is something we're calling the Reboot Loan, um, which is gonna be focused for the businesses that who have unfortunately um, either had to close or greatly suspend operations um, and may need a little bit of capital to get the doors back open, get payroll started again, some of those kinds of things. Um, so we'll be looking to issue quick pre-approvals for that. And then when the time to reopen comes, fund immediately so you can get your business back up and running. Uh, and then the second product is something we're calling a quick bridge loan, um, which is meant more for those businesses that are still operating um, right now um, and, you know, really just need some some additional capital to bridge towards the gap of, you know, when things start to, to, to pick back up a little bit um, and things can resume normal operations. So. 
Um, again, we're grateful to be involved in this initiative as well and looking forward to talking with you individually in the breakout session. Thanks very much, Kyle. And next, I'll turn it over to Sherry from Bright Point Development Fund. There we go. Sorry. Good morning, all. I'm Sherry Early Aiden, and I'm the Vice President of Operations for Bright Point. We are also a CDFI and SBA micro lender located in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Um, our mission is to create economic opportunity for communities and families and individuals who lack access to affordable capital um, and financial services. That being said, we have also created a loan product that we'd be happy to discuss in the breakout session that um, we've named the Bright Point Development Fund COVID-19 Express Loan. Like the other CDFIs, we are attempting to meet the need of the small businesses um, in our region and would like to do that in the best way possible. In addition to our loans, um, we give what we call technical assistance or mentorship um, with every loan we give to make sure that you become sustainable if you're not and help you through this crisis. I'll see you soon. Thank you, Sherry. And next I'll ask Phil Black from the Community Investment Fund of Indiana to Okay, good morning, everyone. Um, I, I really appreciate uh, being invited to this event today. Um, it's, a, it's a very important event. Um, and uh, we are uh, the Community Investment Fund of Indiana. Uh, I'm the executive director, uh, Phil Black. Um, and we offer statewide uh, small business loans, uh, specifically uh, for existing businesses, uh, not startups. Um, we're looking to assist you uh, think through how a loan uh, fits in your plans to reopen or to bridge the gap between maybe other loans that you're applying for and to try to make sense out of those and make sure you have money in your checking account um, to uh, to restart or to uh, uh, meet peril, those kind of things. Um, and, and essentially, uh, we'll make loans that... Uh, the terms we think around 24 months, and that term can be expanded uh, depending on uh, where we are um, um, after this, uh, we, we open back up again. Um, so I look forward to talking with you in detail um, in the session uh, following this. Uh, so thank you very much. Thanks, Phil. And next we'll hear from the folks at First Source Bank. Hi, good morning. Um, my name is Mark Gould. I'm the Community Development Manager at First Source Bank, and I want to thank uh, Mayor Mueller and his team at the city, as well as Sonia. Thank you so much uh, for organizing this virtual uh, emergency assistance fair for the city of South Bend small businesses. Uh, also, thank you to the CDFIs who are participating and uh, all the other financial institutions that are involved with the event. Um, Small businesses are really the economic backbone and drivers of our community. So uh, First Source has been proud to provide uh, SBA programs and financial services over the years uh, and has grown to be uh, one of the largest providers of SBA products across Indiana. And uh, so it's really no surprise that uh, the bank has been extremely involved with the Paycheck Protection Program. Uh, we've been overwhelmed with requests and we're hoping that the federal government uh, will open up, uh, will provide some more funding for that program so that we can help continue to help clients with that program. So um, I'm actually not a lender, but I'm looking forward to assisting, assisting you in the virtual room here soon and to help answer any questions and provide any assistance that First Source can provide. So th thank you very much. Thank you, Mark. And next we'll hear from the folks at Centier Bank. Thank you, Sonia. My name is Len Amat. I'm the market president for Centier Bank in the Michiana community. Uh, as uh, for those of you that don't know about Centier, Centier is the largest privately owned commercial bank in the state of Indiana. Uh, we're celebrating our 125th anniversary at the moment uh, this month. 
Um, it has been throughout its history dedicated to the small business community. Uh, Centir is a preferred small business lender for that reason, similar to First Source Bank. Uh, we have been one of the largest SBA loan providers in the state and partner uh, as well with the CDFIs uh, in the state. So we're hoping that this emergency assistance fair uh, will help you understand how we can partner with all the various organizations in this market area and, and providing support. Um, Centir does offer a, a product called the Small Business Neighborhood Loan Program. It's dedicated to small businesses and low to moderate tracks uh, with uh, very attractive interest rates and deferred payment plans uh, to help uh, small businesses thrive in this market area. So we're looking forward to answering your questions. We'll also have a our local business banker with us in our chat room. His name's John Wingfield, and we look forward to taking your questions. Thank you. Thanks, Len. And next we'll hear from Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. Hello, everybody. This is uh, Tom Greif. I'm the president and CEO of Notre Dame Credit Union. Um, we all know why we're here. This is pretty ugly times, and we're not sure what the future is going to hold. And if you're like me and any, everybody else, there's a little bit of a trepidation, and we try very, very hard to be hopeful for the future. But the reality of it is, is how do we get from here to tomorrow to the next day? How do we uh, take the smaller steps so that we can win the, the marathon race that we're all uh, in right now? We really are addressing it two ways. Um, the first one is for our existing membership. For those of you that are part of the credit union, uh, you, you know already, but if you don't, you should. Uh, we are very aggressive on providing uh, loan deferrals for people who currently have loans with us already, defer commercial as well as consumer loans out anywhere from uh, two to five months. To, to give you some breathing space. We also have care loans, which are uh, small dollar short-term bridge loans for, for our membership to get from point A to point B as well. Um, those of you that are members, you go to our website and, and you can see that and give us a call and we'll take care of you. For the greater population though, here's what's important. Um, this PPP loan uh, program is uh, very chaotic right now. And it's important for you to know that we are active in doing those things. Uh, we are willing to work with non-members um, to get the process done. And we're not going to do it with a gun to your head. If you uh, just want to do the PPP loan with us and then stick with your existing bank, that's fine. OK, this is not a time to extort anybody. It's time to get things done. So um, in the chat room, I'll talk to you about how you could apply for the PPP loan. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tom. And last but not least, we will hear from the folks at Wood Forest Bank. Good morning, everybody. My name is Misha Floyd. I am with Wood Forest National Bank. Um, I'm really excited to be a part of this. We have a small business banker who will be in the breakout room. Her name is Paulina Mayagotia. And as people may know or may not know, Wood Forest, we are in 43 branches. We have 43 branches in Indiana. We are the bank in Walmart. So we're right there in the lobby. We are still providing service six days a week. Um, we are now, we typically are open on Sunday, but due to the COVID, we are closed. Um, that being said, Obviously, we are a full service bank and what we pride ourselves in is helping consumers and small business owners with small dollar loans. Um, we are processing the PPP loan program through the SBA. Um, we are hoping of obviously more federal dollars do come through. Um, that being said, we do have a few products that can help small business owners and consumers, um, as small as a $500 amount to $10,000 or more. Um, Paulina will talk about that with, the, with everybody in the break room, and we look forward to helping our folks in uh, South Bend, Indiana. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nisha. So you all have heard from um, the different financial institutions who will be uh, hosting breakout sessions in just a few minutes here. Um, I do want to address a few things that I saw in the chat as we were talking. Um, for folks who don't have a microphone on their computer, you can type your questions 
And this is a friendly reminder to all of our folks who will be facilitating those conversations. Do your best to keep an eye on the chat. Um, I know it's a lot to keep going at once, but there could be questions that show up there as well. Um, I also want to remind folks um, we will be recording these sessions and then sharing them out with anybody who wasn't able to join us this morning. So that is something that will be a resource that can live on as well as that guide that we shared earlier. And I think with that, um, we can log off of this um, Microsoft Teams meeting and then you can use the links in the flyer to go into any of the different breakout discussions that you're interested in learning about. Um, there will probably be some information at the top from each of our presenters and then as you join later, um, take a look at the chat or just ask questions as they come up. We will all do our best to manage this technology based um, event as we can. And one more reminder, um, if you click on the link and you get a waiting room message, that just means that Sean has not opened up the meeting yet. You don't need to do anything else. It will open automatically as soon as Sean can get to us. So thank you all for joining us this morning. I will see you in the various breakout room discussions.